How does this latest jump in Gibraltar's population compare to growth in the past? Well, it's not the first time that the total number of residents on the rock has shot up in a short space of time. So Gibraltar is contributing millions of dollars per month to Wellington's war effort in Spain, and the population of Gibraltar went from 5,000 to 15,000 in a decade. So that's a tripling. And you say, wow, you know, huge. But then what happens? You ended up having yellow fever epidemics and the, because people were coming in. It came down again after that. You know, you didn't have enough facilities for them, etc. So when you have growth in numbers, you're going to realize that that's additional pressures on your infrastructure. With an effective vaccine for nearly 70 years, thankfully yellow fever is no longer a concern in Gibraltar. But there are still pressures. How well will our infrastructure, our sewage system, cope? What does the growing population mean for construction and housing? For public services like the GHA and schools? Questions that policymakers will now have to grapple with. And Dr. Fa believes there's a difference between this growth spurt and our previous one. The 80s going on, what I noticed, why is it flatlining? And what you had was particularly a drop down in, in the military infrastructure, particularly military personnel. So you had about a drop of about five, 6,000 military personnel. Oh, because over. of the, maybe the, the dockyards. Everything and was going, you know. All I mean, the yeah, major you see, economic you, changes. You've yeah. seen how many housing estates are now sort of like residential, but used to be for army personnel. And True. how many, all of these things have happened. And, and now we're reaching a cap. So now we're having to build more. But for a long time, we were moving into areas which were being left vacant. Our growth rate was pretty much constant, but it was pretty much being offset, just like you might do with a carbon credit, mm -hmm. with the ones that are coming down. So it was flatlining. So from about 2007 onwards, you see all of a sudden a, a hike in numbers. As we discuss the implications of our growing population, one thing is clear. Gibraltar continues to be a melting pot of peoples from across the world while, of course, maintaining our strong British Gibraltar backbone. British citizens, 28,400. Nationality not stated, 3,556. Spanish, 563. Portuguese, 178. Irish, 175. Polish, 159. Israeli, 134. Filipino, 130. Moroccan, 122, German, 114, French, 101, Indian, 94, Italian, 84, Swedish, 73, Romanian, 71, Dutch, 59, Danish, 54, Swiss, 53, Malaysian, 50, American, 46, Bulgarian, 38, Canadian, 37, Brazilian, 36, Hungarian, 34, Austrian 29, Chinese 29, Russian 29, Slovakian 29, Lithuanian 28, Greek 24, Belgian 20, Czech 19, Ukrainian 15, Argentinian 15, uh, 13, Finnish 13, Estonian 12, Hong Kong 11, Latvian 11, Nigerian 11 and Australian 10.